how do I do all this? How much did it all cost? Oh my God, a giant hawk just landed. Look at it. Can you see it? Right there. It's, it's watching me watch it. Anyway. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Nick's Interesting. Sorry it's a bit late, but this will be a short one. I have been sick with COVID all week, believe it or not. First time I've been sick in over a year, so I'm not complaining. But wow, the first three days felt like death. Yesterday felt a little bit better and today we're like meh. But anyway, um, been... Well, my body's been out of action. My brain has not. I've been planning a bunch of new episodes heavy on drone footage. I just got some drone insurance, so look out, Ocean. Anyway, last episode, I said, hey, let me know if you want to know something and I will talk about it. So one of my followers from Canada, Dean Nickel, thank you for this question. He wrote in and asked, how much did it cost to build everything and how much does it cost to live there? So first question I'm going to answer is how much does it cost to live here? Not a lot. Um, I don't pay rent. My phone bill is 2,900 pesos a year. That gives me 10 gigabytes of data and unlimited tethering, I think it is. Um, and yeah, my food bills are probably about 2,000 pesos a week. That does include probably going out one night. Um, my neighbor's electricity bill is 400 pesos a month. And then your average rent, I'm going to say if you get a pretty modest place, you're looking at about between five to 15,000 pesos per month. But aside from internet, I also, well, I, I also have a Starlink internet connection. The initial outlay of that is something like 80,000 pesos. And then I pay another 1,100 pesos a month for that subscription. But beyond your internet, cell phone, food, and mortgage, there isn't a lot to spend your money on down here, so it is quite easy to get by. Thanks to COVID, I can't remember any of the numbers that I just said, but the total for monthly expenses, including home internet, are... And excluding home internet... And to convert that into US dollars from pesos, you basically remove one of the zeros and divide it by two, which equates to this much US dollars. But today's big question, how do I do all this? How much did it all cost? Oh my God, a giant hawk just landed. Look at it. Can you see it? Right there. It's, it's watching me watch it. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Um, how much does it cost to do everything? So, in, without further ado, my first block of land, which is 1,200 square meters, and my second plot of land, which is 300 square meters, 2 million pesos. Wait, is that right? Yeah. My architectural and engineering plans that I <laughs> didn't use 60,000 pesos. My new architecture, my new architectural plans that I am yet to send to the engineer, but did have to pay for this time. Thank you, ex-husband. I will send that money to you eventually. 1,000 US dollars or 17,000 pesos. My solar equipment and solar panels, 120,000 pesos. Ooh. All the wood over about seven deliveries that I used to actually construct the house. 80,000 pesos. Power tools, nails and screws and other fixings. 100,000 pesos. 5,000 litre cistern. 15,000 pesos. The hardware store, I'd say at about 20 times and at least $1,500 per visit. So about $20,000. Pesos. Keep in mind, I bought a lot of land. You can buy land here for as small as, I think like 25 by 25 square meters, which is like what, 250 square meters? And that land can be super cheap. 
Actually, if you've been wondering what OLS.agency is at the end of all of my videos, that is my real estate company that I have here. And I can help you buy some land here too if you want. Just go to OLS.agency.com and then I can help. You can also see what that land is available and roughly how much you'll pay for how much you'll get. For those of you who have been calculating as we go, congratulations, you're a math queen. If you haven't, the total I've spent so far is 3.7 million pesos. And again, if you're doing the math to divide that, that comes out to about 215,000 US dollars. Considering I've been here now for almost two years, I'm pretty happy with that. So, if you have any other questions, please feel free to write in the comments below. Make sure you, I hate to say I'm going to say this, please like this video and all my other videos and subscribe. That way, each time I release a new video, you will get to see it. So make sure you ask me some questions and I will give you some answers. Bye! The Pacific coast of Oaxaca. Find your escape.